how it's important to know that in Hollywood, notice you hear the word Hollywood because in Hollywood, that word Hollywood is a word that is used in black magic. When a director is casting a role and is requiring actors and actresses to play a part in order to manifest the desired result of the spell casting the character and the actor or actress name must have spell casting effect to have the desired effect on a movie. Like in the name Marlon Brando. To cast that spell, there is a hidden name inside of Superman's father. I'm not going to decode it. I, can, I can't give it away. But if you unscramble the name Marlon Brando, it would mean a name of somebody. But again, to direct and cast in Hollywood is to cast a spell. Is the reason why key people play certain parts in the movie to have a desired effect. Right down to you is a very powerful message about what's to come and who's to come. Sit back, sit tight. As I explain these signs to you, like no one ever explained these signs to you before, that Superman is Lucifer and Christ all in one. Now remember, Lucifer simply means the light bearer, and Christ, which simply means the anointed one. Now, Superman, Father. I have brought you today represents a specific Anubis. charges listed herein against the individual. You see that in the movie Lucifer's father, which is Superman. That Superman father holds the crystal like in a scale and balance. He represents the balance of good and evil. Superman Father will pronounce judgment on the accused and he's speaking to the council. So this will prove that Superman Father is a uh, Anubis. And you'll find that the Father and the Son are one and the same. This is no fantasy, no careless product of wild imagination. No, my good friends. Notice these indictments, S Superman Father. I have brought you today. Is wearing the colors Specific of silver and black. Listed herein against the individual. His hair is silver. Their acts of treason, their ultimate aim of sedition. His uniform black. These. I'm holding the scales now. I'll turn it up a little for you. Are matters of undeniable fact. I ask you now to pronounce judgment on those accused. See, holding the scales. The scales represent the crystal, the balance. On this, this mindless aberration, whose only mean... Notice that Superman Father has black eyebrows. You'll notice that none I of them have... I ask you now. Speak this up some. you notice that none of them have black eyebrows. But Superman's father. And why is that? You have heard the evidence. Well, if you watch the movie, you'll notice that 
even the council, all of them have blonde eyebrows. But the gene to have black eyebrows, which means we'll have to match one's black hair. But it's a message that's being given. These color codes represent something that means something for somebody. Black and silver. The decision of the council will now be heard. Guilty. 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 Superman father. Now the full name of Marlon Brando. Jorel. Now remember, L is the name for God. But I should give you the first name of what Marlon name means. A. M O N L Amen L The rest I'll let y'all not scramble. Okay, I ain't gonna leave y'all in the dark. So Marlon on scrum to say I'm an L. Brando has to be. The first letter in the name is saying B. D. A. R. Represents the 18th letter in the alphabet, which equal the ninth month for Virgo. So Marlon named Brando on scramble to say I'm an L B Duran. An important voice in the new order. Notice. Second only to my own. Notice they said. Second to his own, but before that he said, New World Order. You'll notice that 13 shows up a lot with Jor-El. Jor-El represents the 13th. You see the ring of Saturn around the three men because the ring is very powerful because Everything is dealing with the ring. Everything is dealing with Saturn. But that's another topic within itself because the S on Superman's father chest. Some say it means Saturn. But the S on the chest is mathematical encoding. It's a seal. It's a sign. Notice that in Marlon Brandon's name. The first letter is M. This is how powerful the spell casting is. Because when you speak, you spell words out. Words is sound, vibration is spelled out. It's octave, but it's spelled out, so it's a spell. The M open the door for 13. This is why it's important that when actresses and actresses being used in a movie, they have to be able to have that spelling. That cast over the masses. Notice in Marlon Brandon name. The first three letters in Marlon name is what? M-A-R. As in Mars. And father just had a meeting with the council. And they don't want Superman father to tell the people how the planet that they're on, Krypton, will be destroyed by a cosmic event. So they told him pretty much to keep his mouth shut and he agreed to stay on Krypton. In the meeting, what's important inside of the circle, you'll see the ring. This ring represents the ring of Saturn, but it also is a number eight rotating. You'll find that symbolism also in the movie Code Eight. 
that this number eight is very powerful because it means something. Superman Father stands in this circle. Around this circle is 13 seats and 13 council members who was inside of this clandestine meeting. And pretty much to me, they represent some fraternal order. A secret society, if you will, of a higher galactic order. And the light inside of the circle, to me, represents that light, that sorority and fraternal people in those societies wear the light. Because Superman Father represents the illuminated glow, the illuminated one. Notice that Superman, who is not yet Superman yet, is the baby. Now, mind you, remember I told you that in order to have a casting effect to cast a spell, the actor, actress name must have an impact on the motion picture because we're talking about a picture in motion. But before I explain that to you, notice in the movie you see these crystals. You have the crystals above and the crystals below. The ancient hermetic states that which corresponds above also corresponds below. But remember, these crystals represent Christos, as I explained to you in my last video. Christos means Christ because we're talking about the anointed one. The crystals also represent the third eye, the pineal, which is the crystal part of that brain inside of oneself, that reptile side of oneself, that crystal that allow one to become anointed in Christ-like, to have super abilities. So this is why you see the crystals above and the crystals below. The only answer, Lara, if he remains here with us, he will die as surely as we will. But why Earth, Jerome? They're primitives, thousands of... And notice that again, how the father holds that crystal straight, just like he held the crystal straight when he's pronouncing a verdict on the three accused men to the council. He brings that crystal before his son, his wife, and he's holding the crystal in his hand straight, as in balance. It's just my opinion. It's behind us. He will need that advantage to survive. Their atmosphere will, will sustain him. Their gravity. They will look like one of them. Notice the circle of crystals around the crystals. Again, all of this is important because it's a message within inside of this. Over here, as I explained to you in my last video, you see three crystals pointing up top on the left and two up top on the right which is given forth the coded number 32. This is very important because this 32 is a seal. He won't be one of them. No. His dense molecular structure will make him strong. Also notice, I never paid no attention to it, but it cooperates and confirms the number 32 and 23. Notice on the pillars on the far left hand side you see two lavender like pillars on the left of the, of the crystal. So up top you see the crystals on the far left hand side you see the pillars of two. And then on the far right hand side you see the pillars of three. 23. All this is encoded. 32 up top. And then 23 
down below. I can't make this up. You'll be odd. Different. He'll be fast. Virtually invulnerable. Isolated. Alone. As I stated before, it's no mistake that when she said alone that the baby made three sound effects. Eh, eh, eh. Because in the word alone you have A-L, which is also the name for the supreme being. El, Jorel, and El alone starts with the word A-L. And A and L is A being the one letter in the alphabet and L being the 12th letter in the alphabet that equals 13. The 13th one. Because the remaining letters in alone is O-N-E. So even in mom saying, the mother saying, he would be alone. She said 13 one. Coding. And you will hear. Superman's father say he will listen. He will not be alone. Superman's father just said he will not be alone. Denise holding up the crystal that formed a one and three fingers holding on to it again. Thirteen again. Notice again how they're displaying the black and the silver. You know, the dominant eye within the health class it tells you that black or brown and the blue recessive eye represents the gene that one has within oneself. A recessive gene and a dominant gene. But the black eyebrows, again, is important because it's a key in on what's actually being said. It's a hidden message, but only for those who know. He will never be alone. father just kissed the baby Superman on the forehead on the third eye this is important because he could have kissed the baby on the on the top of the head but he kissed the baby on the forehead represent representing the pioneer representing the third eye chance to really explain that the reason why he said I and more because we talking about the third eye you talking about the pineal we talking about that energy that's inside for him to say I and more we know that more is dealing with the mores of ancient time but that more bloodline and which is double talk it's important that you know that we had people called the Nelson Mandela effect. The Nelson Mandela effect is important because 
beings have the ability aliens, extraterrestrial, terrestrial beings, seen and unseen, and even the government have the ability to go back into time, as well as to know the future. The Nelson Mandela effect would be, let's say, the old Monopoly board. If you recall, it used to have, the man used to have the glasses over his eye. And then it went from the glass being over the eye to it's naked with no glass over the eye. That's the Nelson Mandela effect. That things could have happened in the past, a ripple effect in the future. Like Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. When he used to say, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. But do you remember that what it originally said was, this is... Is a beautiful, this a beautiful day in the neighborhood. So the changing up of something that happened, that ripple effect. And I believe that something happened, either past or present, to leave a message that would be time stamped to reveal what's to come and mathematically encoded with signs and symbols that I'm going to open y'all eyes to. So. Him saying I and more is to deliver a message about the more bloodline and then the descendants that identify with the I being the third I. I bequeath you, my son. To be creatures handing down, passing down. You know the Bible which says that I and my father are one. And it states that no man can go through the Father, but through the Son. But it's identifying that Superman and his Father are one and the same. He said, the Father shall become the Son, and the Son shall become the Father. So what is that telling you? That the Father is representing of the God body, and the Son being the God body. All embodied in one. You will carry me inside you. All the days of your life. You will make my strength your own. See my life through your eyes. As your life will be seen through mine. The son comes the father. And the father the The son. Son become the father, and the father the son. And right when he said that, it shows the crystals above the super baby, the superman, the Christ, the anointed one, the Lucifer, the light bearer. Remember in Revelations, Bible believers who know that it states in Revelation that Jesus state is called the bright and morning star, which is only attributed to who? Lucifer. Again, these crystals over the baby head represents the pineal, the third eye, as I explained in my last video. We'll make my notice I forgot to mention answer let me go back so that you can see this notice how the S formed a 9 and the ninth month being the S which is September now listen to what he's saying there's no mistake that they placed this S transforming into a 9 See my life with your eyes. Look at that eyes again. And we know I is the ninth letter in the alphabet. Now this is a clear nine as you can see. And you will see that it's confirmed that it's talking about the third eye. Because the crystal standing high and long at his forehead. Just as he kissed the baby forehead. Now let me show you something. 
Now what you have here is the 12 months. And in the 12 months you have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. September is what month? What month category is September fall on? September fall on the ninth. The ninth month. This is that S that you see on Superman's father chest. Because remember, Superman's father said, The son shall become the father, and the father the son. So, in the months it just said Jah Sun, and the sun don't begin on December, the sun begin on September. Is the reason why you again you see, again you see, on the twelve disciples representing the twelve months as well as the twelve zodiacs, because September represents Virgo, represents Christ, represents the sun, someone that you see over, the Christ Jesus archetype in the depiction on the Last Supper, the twelve months. Chief among these powers will be your sight, your strength, your hearing, your ability to propel yourself at almost limitless speed. The early history of our universe was a bloody mosaic. What's important that you don't see inside of the crystal um, spaceship, space shuttle spacecraft to me what that represents certain gifted children are called crystals or blu-ray children so they're using a child to depict what is futuristic or what is coming forth and it's important I address this because the inside of the chamber apparatus that this child is merging to earth it's a mystery and it's why you see the purple inside because it represents a mystery of what's happening or what's about to happen and it's important to pay attention to the coloration on the inside of the womb because it represents the womb interplanetary war each of the six galaxies which you will pass through you see the ring of Saturn up top. Contain their own individual law, space and time. It is forbidden for you to interfere with human history. Chief among these powers will be your sight, your strength, your hearing, your ability to propel yourself at almost limitless speed. The early history of our universe was a bloody mosaic. What's important that you don't see inside of the crystal um, spaceship, space shuttle, spacecraft. To me, what that represents, certain gifted children are called crystals or Blu-ray children. So they're using a child to depict what is futuristic or what is coming forth, and it's important. I address this because the inside of the chamber apparatus that this child is merging to earth. It's a mystery and it's why you see the purple inside because it represents a mystery of what's happening or what's about to happen. And it's important to pay attention to the coloration on the inside of the womb because it represents the womb. You see the ring of Saturn up top. Contain their own individual law, space and time. It is forbidden for you to interfere with human history. I want to share something with y'all. The movie Superman came out in 1978. E.T. came out. How many years after 
Superman came out. Because it's a coded message out of the most powerful movies that came out of all times. With Superman followed up by another super being that was connected to what was E.T.? Who was E.T. connected to? That L name again. Elliot. Alright, so let's do this here. Let's do basic subtraction. Right? So we subtract from there. We made that 12. We got a 7 here. And then we have 12 sub 8 subtracting to 12 give us four now a message was just given even in the formation of the time span from 1978 to the ET movie that was created in 1982 with a coded message of 7-4 of a 1974, four years afterwards, but the formation of seven up top and four at the bottom, I believe that there, sit tight that I explain a little bit more, it's about to get real deep, noticing the name. A baby Clark Kent, but baby Clark Kent landed on Earth. The name that is given to baby Clark Kent is Aaron Smolinski. But in the word Smolinski, you see sky from right to left. Sky, S K I. Because the baby came from in the sky. And the wording is say S Mo L in sky. And the name Aaron. Remember, the father said, The son shall be the father, and the father shall be the son. So naturally, the S fall on Aaron. Mo, because we're talking a lot more than just a human being of this type of creation, but we're talking about something more. As the father said, the father called the baby Mo in speaking code talk. And the L represents the Elohim, that L blood, because Jorel and Kalel is one of the names that's given to the baby, as well as the father name being L. So you see L in sky. The baby just came from the sky. This is why it's important that you have to pay attention to the casting. Because it has a spelling that spell out this spell. The power that's being activated in this baby who represents somebody. Keep in mind that the actor who star as Superman name is not Clark Kent, but the actual person who plays Clark Kent is Christopher Reeve. Christopher Reeves. And this is very important. Now I'm going to break something down for you because as you can see in the name Christopher is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The seventh letter is O, which says Christo, which is the name for the Greek word for the anointed one. As people say, Christ. It's no mistake that you have the director and those who allow this person to play this part Pick the ideal person whose name mirror 
the magic that's going to have the effect, effect, and in effect that has a very powerful pull on what's coming forth. The Philosopher's Stone is more properly the Philosopher's Stone of the Philosopher which is a alchemical substance capable of base metals such as mercury into gold. It is also called the elixir of life and achieving immortality. Also, an essential symbol of the mystical terminology of alchemy, symbolizing perfection at its finest. We have it as you can see that the name Christopher which is Christopher Reeve, who plays Superman. The full name is Cody. Christopher has Christ. One, two, three, four, five, six letters that identify with Christ in Christopher Reeve's name. You will see that Christopher is also Lucifer because... Christopher, we're talking about Christo. From this point, is saying Christ, right? So we know that Christo is a Greek word. Was dealing with the Christo, the third eye, the philosopher, which is the same letters. And Christopher is dealing with the eye of Lucifer and changing base metal into gold. We're talking about awakening the third eye. This is how you have the philosopher's stone is the eye of Lucifer. Remember the baby Superman, the little baby before the baby became Clark Kent. The baby had the crystals over the baby head to identify with the Christ energy of the Lucifer energy. So Christopher Reeve really is the Christ. Let me explain something to you. Remember, Christopher, father, going back, that. When Christopher was a baby, which is Clark Kent, when Clark Kent was a baby, the father commissioned and placed his energy and power into Khalil. So when the father touched Khalil and kissed his forehead, we seen a transition that he said, and I bequeath thee, and he handed down his powers, and he said, I. Then the transformation from the S turned into a 9. The I is 9. And you'll find something even more powerful and fascinating. That on the end of Christopher's name is R, which is 18. Which is the 18 letter in the alphabet, right? So check this out. So right where the I is. The I is. And 18 equal 1 and 8 equal 9, right? So 9 and 9 is I and I. So the eyes is saying pay attention. So let's pay attention to what the I is saying pay attention to. Next to the I we have S. S is the 19th letter in the alphabet. Let's put 19 up here. Check this out. S, shoot that up, is the 19th letter in the alphabet, which is Sulfur, which is like Lucifer. Then, the last letter is 18, because R is the 18th letter in the alphabet. So let's put 18 next to But as you can see that the name Christopher, which is Christopher Reeve, who plays Superman, the full name is Cody. Christopher has Christ. One, two, three, four, five, six 
four, five, six letters that identify with Christ in Christopher Reeve's name. You will see that Christopher is also Lucifer because Christopher we're talking about. Christo from this point is saying Christ. Right? So we know that crystal is a Greek word was dealing with the crystal, the third eye, the philosopher, which is the same letters. And Christopher is dealing with the eye of Lucifer and changing base metal into gold. We're talking about awakening the third eye. This is how you have the Philosopher's Stone is the Eye of Lucifer. Remember the baby Superman, the little baby before the baby became Clark Kent. The baby had the crystals over the baby head to identify with the Christ energy of the Lucifer energy. So Christopher Reeve really is the Christ. Let me explain something to you. Remember, Christopher, father, going back, that when Christopher was a baby, which is Clark Kent, when Clark Kent was a baby, the father commissioned and placed his energy and power into Khalil. So when the father touched Khalil and kissed his forehead, we seen a transition that he said, and I bequeathed thee, and he handed down the Modi. As you can see in Christopher, it says, next to the I, it says, stop her. The S on top her. Superman been trying to get at Lois Lane for forever and a day. And he been always been trying to get on top of her. When you watch the movie, he's always trying to seduce her. But it's double talk, it's a mess within that. There's seven letters on the end of next to the I that brought about Lucifer. So we have seven here. Seven letters that connects to the Lucifer. And on the left of it is one, two, three, four. So we have four. And what we have again is a year from right to left 1974 to somebody stay tuned for part two as we get more deep into the mysteries of superman